Okay, so uh, hapit na hapit ako sa vlog. Kaka-vlog ko lang sa main account ko ngayon naman sa page ko naman kasi hindi ko na naasikaso yung page because of the um, schedule, business, and everything. So, I don't expect everyone to to be here kasi konti lang, konti na na yung active nito. Pero sa mga 14,000 likes na tao dyan, so, so share ko lang yung reason kung bakit hindi ka masaya. So, okay. So, hmm. Teka lang, mag-share muna. Pwede ba i-share to sa mga ano? Okay, yung reason kung bakit ka hindi masaya. I always think of this kasi ako yung tipo ng tao na lumaki na hindi hindi pa lagi masaya. Lagi ako umiiyak, lagi akong uh, may iniisip, may inaalala. Pero it made me analyze, realize, naging practical psychology ako on, on myself, on how to deal with myself in everything na ginagawa ko. So, that is why kailangan kong pasayin sarili ko. Pero habang hinahanap ko yung makapagpapasaya sa akin, nare-realize ko na mali pala yung yung ginagawa ko. And marami akong librong binasa about happiness and fulfillment. Pero may isa sum up ko lang siya dun sa tatlong isa-share ko ngayon. Three reasons kung bakit hindi ka masaya. And kung ikaw ngayon nanonood, uh, hindi mo malaman kung masaya ka ba o malungkot. Pero once I share this principle, principles, I think you would agree with me when I say una, Yes, you put too much pressure on yourself. You control everything. Guys, if you're watching this, you can never control anything. Hindi mo control lahat ng bagay. At never mong makukontrol lahat. Understand na whatever you do or whatever you have, everything is temporary. That's why you need to keep it, protect it, love it, cherish it, nourish it. And yun, once you know na everything, everyone is temporary, you learn how to value things. And minsan kasi, for example, iniwan ka, gusto mo makipagbalikan sa sayo, um, less controlling. And iniwan ka, nawala, namatay, less controlling. Ayaw mo. Once you learn how to let go, sobrang importante yung salitang let go. Um, for example, the last time, yung, yun niya, ang mga heartbroken, kung nabasa mo yung pagmahal problems, I've been through a lot sobrang sobrang daming kahirapan pero hindi ko sinabi ako yung may pinakamahirap na experience pero I've learned so much that I realized that once I learn how to let go I I force myself I teach myself on how to let go of something or or someone uh, mas madali mas madali yung coping up mas madali yung mas madali yung mag move on mas, mas madali yung maging masaya and for example hindi ka na promote hindi mo control yun trabaho ka ulit So, you just do your thing. Uh, never control anything or anyone. Kahit pangangarap mo, kahit sa mga bagay na gusto mo. You never control anyone, everyone. Basta control. Once na naging controlling, ah, sobrang stress ang kapalit niyan. If you know someone na controlling, di ba hindi naman siya masaya. So, never. And, huwag mo ilagay lahat sa iyo yung pressure. Kasi, minsan, ikaw lang naglalagay sa sarili mo. Hindi mo naman kailangan ng pressure. Hindi mo naman kailangan ma-stress, hindi mo naman kailangan isipin lahat ng bagay pa. Learn how to let go, learn to loosen up. Yan. Relax ka lang. So, yun yung reason kung bakit hindi ka masaya, naging controlling ka. So, pangalawa, reason kung bakit hindi ka masaya is that you want to impress everyone. Um, ako, ako before, I'm really, uh, I am really uh, uh, the person who wants to please everyone. Gusto ko masaya, gusto ko ramdam nila existence ko, gusto ko tumatawa sila sa joke ko, gusto ko, ako yung angat. Parang iba, ikulang ako sa attention. Though, may ADHD ako nung bata. I was diagnosed with ADHD. Pero, hindi mo kasi talaga may impress lahat eh. And may, mga, may nagsabi lang sa akin, hindi ko alam kung na, nagsabi ba o nabasa ko lang, na don't expect everyone to love you or, or appreciate you or don't expect everyone to like you. You are not a comedian you're just a person so kung komedyante ka dapat mapatawa mo talaga lahat pero even comedians na magaling hindi lahat tumatawa eh sa mga jokes nila so don't expect everyone to like you or don't impress don't, don't, never try to impress anyone just do your thing um, you know that uh, realize na yung ginagawa mo is totoo sa puso mo tama and 
Kaya pinsan, pansinin mo yung mga pasikat, hindi sumisikat talaga, yung pinipilit maging sikat. Yung pa-impress, nakakapagod. Lalo na, um, kung ang goal mo is mag- magparami ng likes, magparami ng, ng fanbase, magparami ng... Na-realize ko yun. I- nung na, lalo na nagsulat ako ng una kong book sa Psycom, walang bumibili, walang pumapansin. Kasi bago ako, and up until now, may mga time na ako talaga yung konti yung pila. Sa, sa book signing and I, I, I am thankful kung sino lang yung bumili magpa, magpapirma and ngayon medyo medyo dumadami and really thankful with what is happening so I don't want to impress everyone basta gusto ko lang to instead of impressing them um, challenge them I, I, I challenge mo yung pag-iisip nila I challenge mo yung belief nila I challenge mo yung in a good way ah. um, or instead of challenging them or encourage them so one of my goals in life is that really Uh, whenever I see people, I hope that I encourage them with my existence and and whatever I do in life. Na dapat maka encourage sa kanila. So yun yung pangalawang reason. And finally, ang gusto ko favorite kong reason kung bakit maraming tao hindi masaya. Wala silang goal. Kasi pag hindi wala kang hinahabol, wala kang wala kang hinihit na target na goal sa buhay mo. Boring yung buhay mo. Hindi exciting. Parang sa karera. Di ba na excited? Kasi may finish lang like kang hinahabol. So, ganun din, ganun din sa'yo na dapat meron kang gusto, dapat meron kang hinahabol, dapat meron kang target. Kasi pag may target ka, wala ka ng panahon para lum- malungkot, magmukmuk, magsayang ng oras kasi may gusto kang gawin. Parang tama na yung pagmumukmuk, bango na. Ito yung kailangan mong gawin. Ito yung kailangan mong gawin sa pamilya mo, makarap ka magkaroon ng bahay, magkaroon ka ng negosyo, magkaroon ka ng salili sa sakyan, makasulat ka ng, ng libro, makasulat ka ng kanta, uh, maging sikat yung kanta mo sa video, okay, patugtugin sa radyo yung mga yung yung kanta mo, ma-publish yung yung libro mo, uh, mapakinggan yung mga kanta mo. At uh, yun, y- yun yung mga bagay na dapat mong ginagawa. So, once you have a goal, you will um, it will lighten up everything na parang ba parang ganito. Madilim yung lugar mo, malungkot ka, tapos nakakita ka ng liwanag. 'Di ba? Gusto mong nagkaroon ka ng 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 sigla, nagkaroon ka ng bago pupuntahan. So that's that's the that that those are the things na those principles those things yung yung the reason kung bakit malungkot ka or hindi ka nagiging masaya is that first is you control everything. Pangalawa you impress everyone. Pangalawa you don't pangatlo is you don't have a goal. So once you reverse that, you don't expect too much from people. You don't try to impress them and you you, you already have a goal. Yun magiging somehow, I think, I believe kasi lahat na nakikita kong masaya, fulfilled na tao, ganun yung mga attitude nila yung principle nila, so thank you for watching, this is Kuya Vinci, Coach Vinci and thank you for watching, again salamat pala, ayan, itong bagong reason kung bakit ako masaya, ay yung aking bagong libro na batang 90s so available na siya in all bookstores nationwide 185 pesos lang so let kasi, 1 million pa- Dito, lang. ano lang siya, 220 225 pages siya. So, bilhin nyo na guys. And selfie kayo. Hashtag Batang90s book. Yun yung hashtag. So, thank you for watching.